when you're ready to complete your um, performance evaluation with assembling your XCP instrument using the PSP plates, you're going to need, again, your bar and your ring and your um, three by blocks. So this is the equipment that you'll gain. Um, you're also going to need to have some of these bite tabs. Um, these can be found in the star drawer located in the front of the clinic. Um, you'll need a tab for every production for your PSPs. Um, so you'll need 20 of the um, tabs and these are really helpful. We're going to teach you how to um, use these to help stick the PSP plates in your bite block. So again, these are located in the star drawer and you'll need 20 of the tabs um, to complete your FMX with your PSPs. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about placing our PSP plates inside our bite blocks using our bar and ring. So the first one we're gonna do is retrieve our size one PSP plate from our clean cup. Um, and on our PSP plate, we've got one side that indicates what size the film is. Um, there's an A and there's some writing. Um, we're going to want to make sure that this side is not facing the tube head and it's kind of helpful because it says on here opposite side towards the tube head. So what it's trying to tell you is that this side is the side that's got the um, that you need to expose to be able to acquire your image. And so when we're trying to place this inside the bite block, what you're going to do is we need to use the A as our indicator um, for placement. So what you'll do is we're going to put the A inside of the slot, and that's going to be inside of the slot on our blue bite block. So we're going to make sure that the black portion is facing us, so we should not see any letters, and the A should be um, down in the bite block. I don't want you to place your PSP plate like this with the A coming towards the top. Um, we use this as a marker so when you're trying to mount your films you know that all of the films are positioned in the same way because everybody's A um, is in the slot. So when we're trying to position this film in our bite block the packaging can be a bit misleading when you're trying to um, center the film to the bite block. Um, so I always suggest that you kind of pull back that packaging so you can see that the bite block is directly centered inside of, um, that the sensor is directly centered inside of the bite block. Um, to keep the PSP plate inside the bite block, we use bite tabs. And so you're going to put a bite tab starting on the back of the bite block and fold it forward. And this is a little tricky because you're trying to continue to hold it where it's centered and then place your bite tab. And what that does is you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it because we obviously don't want to um, bend the PSP plate. But what it does is it holds the PSP plate into position. So that's what it's going to look like when you're trying to do um, your anterior um, projection. We want you to be able to have this um, bite tab folded so we can keep that um, PSP plate inside of the bite block because if you don't, it'll fall out. So the same rules apply as far as your bar is concerned. The bar's got the blue prong and the yellow prong. We're using the boot blue bite block and so we're going to line up the prongs to the most anterior portion of the bite block. So you're going to line it up exactly like we had done previous. And then you're going to use the blue part of the ring um, and line it up with the PSP plate as well. So this is what it should look like. Um, sorry, Regina, there you go. You should be able to see the PSP plate inside of the um, ring so you know you're positioned correctly. And the placement of the bar and ring is exactly the same as all previous placements. So you'll position this in the patient's mouth, use the bar as your vertical angulation so it'll show you what your tube head needs to look like. Um, and so we'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. So when you're positioning your um, PS piece inside the patient's mouth using your ring and bar, you're using the same guidelines that we have previously taught. Um, so you'll line it up like so. 
and then line up your tube head. Now this poor guy's missing a tooth. Um, you'll use the bar and ring as your indicator for where your tube head is placed. So again, you're gonna use the bar as your vertical angulation. So if you placed it here, you should be able to line up and make sure that this line is parallel to this line um, for your vertical angulation. And then you should line up the um, circle part of the tube head with the ring. And of course, the horizontal angulation still is the same as everything else we've taught. And this would be your uh, maxillary anterior projection for your PSPs. Now, the thing that students tend to forget is the PSPs are a one-time exposure. So once you've exposed this um, PSP to radiation for your central incisor projection, you cannot use it again in the mouth. So once you've exposed it, you're gonna remove it from the patient's mouth and you're gonna come back over to your dirty cup and you're gonna take this exposed PSP plate and place it in your dirty cup. And that's over here. So we have our clean cup that is housing all of our films that have not been exposed and our dirty cup that's housing our films that have been exposed. So since we've exposed um, this PSP plate, we're gonna carefully remove it from the bite block. You're gonna leave the tabs still on it and place it in your dirty cup. And then at the conclusion of your FMX, you'll retrieve those from your dirty cup and wipe them down and remove them from their barriers. So now we're gonna do our posterior projection with our PSPs. So you're gonna retrieve your yellow bite block and you're gonna grab um, a size two film from your clean cup. Again, with the size two, it's got the number on here that indicates that it's a size two. The A is still on um, the PSP plate, so we're gonna use that as our indicator to keep the A inside the slot of the bite block. And it also tells you here that the opposite side is the part that faces the tube head. So if you see any numbers or letters when you're placing your bite block, you have it in backwards. So what you'll do is you're gonna use your A and make sure it goes inside the bite block and place it down. And again, the packaging can be a little misleading. So you want to try to fold down the excess so you can center it in the bite block. So this looks pretty good. We can see that the A is in the slot. Once you have this centered, you're gonna use, again, another sticky tab to keep the PSP plate from moving. So this time you're gonna actually come over the top with it. Again, be really careful. You're trying not to bend the PSP plate, but you're also trying to make sure that it stays secure inside the bite block. So just be really delicate to make sure that you're not bending the film itself. So this is what it should look like. And once you've got your um, bite block, I mean your PSP plate set up this way, you're gonna again grab your bar that has the blue and yellow prongs and you're gonna bring it to the most anterior portion of the bite block and slide it in where it's nice and snug like so. And then you're gonna use the yellow portion of your ring and make sure that you can see your PSP plate inside of the ring so you know you've got this one um, correctly placed. So now you're ready to place this into the patient's mouth for exposure. So we're gonna do the patient's um, right side premolar, um, maxillary premolar, periapical and so we're going to line up our bite block exactly how we've been previously taught and you're going to utilize the it's always hard when the dexter doesn't cooperate very well sometimes it might need some cotton we'll try to balance okay so what you're going to do again is use the bar as your vertical angulation and so you're going to line it up you wanna make sure your bar is parallel to the line on the tube head. Um, that'll make sure our vertical angulation is accurate. And then your horizontal angulation should be um, directed towards um, the position that you've been previously taught. So this would be our maxillary projection. And again, we have to keep in mind that this is a PSP. So that means once we've exposed this radiation to that PSP plate, we cannot use it again in the patient's mouth. So once you're finished with this projection, you're going to take it out of the patient's mouth, take it over to your dirty cup, go 
on this wing. And you're going to remove it carefully from your bite block. Maybe pull off the sticky part on the back of the bite block. Leave it all on there and stick it in your dirty cup. So next we're going to talk about our horizontal bite wings and how we're going to place our PSP plates in here. So you'll grab your um, bite block that we use for PSPs and you'll grab your size 2 um, PSP plate. Again, all of the same information is found on this size 2. You're going to want to make sure that the A is in the mandibular region when you're doing these projections. So how this works is you're going to take your PSP plate and um, place it in the bottom prong and then gently, gently um, place it in the top prong. And um, you're going to be a little bit concerned that you're bending the film and you just have to be really careful with them because they are placed pretty snug. So because of the um, placement of this, we don't actually need a, a bite tab. So you're just gonna be able to place it like so. The black part faces the part that the patient bites on. Um, you'll get your bar with the red prongs and line it up with the bite block like so. Whoops, see? Now, if I place the ring on here, is that correct? And I hope you say no because we see the um, letters. So we know that this is not the correct position of the PSP plate because that's not the dark part um, of the PSP plate. So you should know that the bar was on placed incorrectly. And so you should remove the bar from the bite block and face it where we see nothing, no words um, in the ring so you'll see when you have it placed correctly you should see just the black part and um, no words so this is the correct placement for the PSP plate for a horizontal so bite for our premolar shot we're going to place the PSP um, inside the patient's mouth and have them bite down all the way and then you'll be able to utilize the ring for your tube head placement and the bar for your vertical angulation and because we're doing horizontal um, bite wings, we don't really need a vertical angulation, so it should be at zero, no more than plus 15. So you'll line up your horizontal angulation the same way you've been taught. Um, I think with the horizontal angulation for the bite wing, it's between the second premolar, first molar. So you should be able to, to visualize that and line it up correctly. So this would be your placement for your PSP um, premolar horizontal bite wing. And again, you have to remember this is the PSPs, and so we cannot use um, this PSP again. Once we've exposed it to radiation, it's no longer usable in the rest of the dentition. So once you're finished exposing this one, you're gonna take it out of the patient's mouth and remove it from the bite block and place this in your dirty cup, which Regina's got a little bit of an obstacle and you'll replace it in your dirty cup. And so you're gonna to continue to do this process throughout your whole FMX.